Hello and welcome to our podcast on installing the Google Application Engine on Windows XP. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the App Engine website and go to the download page and go to the SDK and install the Windows platform. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Okay, and so I'll close that, close that. I'm going to install it by clicking on this installer right from my desktop. I've already got Python on this computer. If, uh, if not, it would walk you through the installation of Python. And it's a pretty straightforward and simple installation. And it goes pretty quickly. and I'm just gonna get rid of the installer now that I'm done so uh, let's go ahead and write the first application so I'm going to use JEdit to write my first application and let's go ahead and give ourselves a little more screen space so the first thing file I've got to create is a file called app.yaml and um, the first line tells us what application it is it's uh, this is app engine 01 trivial that's what I'm going to name it uh, it's version 1 That's going to be a Python, which is for now the only choice. The API version is 1. The next thing we have to do is tell it where to route our URLs to. So we're saying handlers. Let me say dash URL colon slash dot star. That's a thing called regular expression and it's basically saying everything that starts with a slash followed by any number of an arbitrary character. And then we indent below this two spaces and say script index.py and that says whatever URL you see send it to script.py. So now I'm going to say file save as I'll go to my home directory then I'll go to desktop and then I'll make a new folder and I'll call this apps because I'll store a few Google application engines here so you'll notice it pops up on my desktop I'll go into apps I'm gonna make the directory for my app engine and I'll call this the same as the name of the application just by convention AE01 trivial then I'll go into the trivial directory and I will store this file as app.yaml Okay, so I'll make another file, and this one's even more trivial. Hello there, Chuck. It's a little bit of Python, and I will save that. I'm going to save it in the same directory, and I'm going to call this one index.py. So if I go take a look in this directory, I've got AE01 trivial and an app.yaml file and index.py file. Of course, it conveniently hides the uh, suffix for me. So, I'll minimize this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the command line. And the way you normally do this, come back, is start, run, CMD. Oh, I, that was the on-screen keyboard. I was doing it too fast. Start, run, CMD for command line. So here we are. I'm in my home directory. The next thing I got to do is get to the desktop. And if I do a dir, I will see that I've got uh, apps subdirectory right there. 
and this application engine link, which we'll leave that alone for a while. Um, then I'm going to go into the apps directory. And if I do a dir here, I see the AE01 trivial. Now, here's a quick shortcut. I'm going to type AE and tab, and that completes it because there's only one directory that starts with AE01. A -E so I type dir, and there I have um, my application engine, uh, app YAML, and index.py. I'm going to go back up to be in the apps directory. And now I am going to start the app engine. Now, depending on your path, you may be able to type just the last part of this, the dev underscore app server. But I'm going to show you how to type the entire path of this application in case your paths aren't right. This is, I'm going to type slash PRO tab for program files, and then say slash GO for Google, and then slash GO again for Google App Engine, and then slash DEV tab. Now that is a full path all the way to the Python application server. It's long, but you'll get used to it. And if you use the tab key, then it's not so bad. If you're typing that with all the spaces and slashes, that's not so good. And then the second parameter we've got to type is AE01 Trivial, which is the directory of the Python application engine. So I hit Enter. So the application engine is now starting up. Okay. And it sort of started... And it might, the first time it'll ask you whether or not you want it to check to, for uh, new versions. Here, it already, I've already said yes to that, so it just automatically checks for uh, updates to the SDK uh, every time it starts. But basically, this very bit at the bottom is telling you where to navigate to in your browser. And so I'm going to go to HTTP localhost 8080, and it says, hi there, Chuck. Okay. So you'll also notice, I'll try to get this, watch this screen, this is a log that's telling us what's going on. I'm going to hit refresh and you'll see it go cha-cha-cha. And it grabbed, it did a get, which is an HTTP get. And so we can watch the behavior of our application down in this little log. So I keep pressing refresh and it does another get. Okay. So let's say we want to make a, a change to the application. Well, We'll just say hi there, Jim. And then we will save it with Command S. And then you just come back here and you hit refresh. Okay? So that's what it takes to make a change. Now I'm going to make a few mistakes and show you what happens when you make mistakes because that's always a common problem. And so first we have to figure out how to shut this thing down. And the easiest thing is to just hit the close button. It's shut down. And now you'll notice when I go to localhost 8080, um, wait a sec. Um, that's because it's coming out of cache. It's not supposed to run. Let me hit shift. Yeah, hit shift. Uh, it's still in cache. Okay. Well, now I'm going to run it again. CD to desktop. CD to apps. Oh, wait. So, let's make a mistake. I'm going to make a mistake, and I'm not going to invent this two spaces, and I'm going to save that. And I'll show you what happens when the program, when you've made a mistake in App YAML. So I'll go into Desktop, I'll go into Apps, and I'm going to type slash PRO tab slash GO tab slash GO tab slash DEV tab, and then I'm going to type App Engine that directory and you will see what happens when you make a mistake in your app.yaml file. So what you see here is it didn't even start up and it's saying um, fatal error when loading uh, application configuration blah 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 something it's looking for something blah 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 line 8 column 1. So we just kinda go into our uh, app yaml file and we say oh what's wrong with line 8 oh yeah that's right i forgot to i forgot to indent that so now i've indented that and i'll i'll save it and so now if i i don't have to type this whole thing again i can just hit up arrow and run it again and son of a gun 
if I am not successful. So that you're, when you make a mistake in your app YAML file, uh, it doesn't even start the server. Okay, so now that we've fixed that and our server's back up and running, uh, let's make a different mistake. I'm going to make a typographical error in the uh, Python code now by taking uh, one of these uh, quotes out. So I'll save that. So now what will happen is um, I'll hit refresh and we'll get a gigantic error. Okay, And if you look at this error, it's pages and pages and pages and pages of things that really look very, very, very confusing. And the key thing when you're looking at this is that you've got to, to make sure that you know what to ignore and what not to ignore. So on this page, it's generally you go to the very bottom of the page. It's really giving you a lot of context about where it's blowing up inside the app engine. That is might be useful at some point, but generally it's our fault, not the app engine's fault. So we've got some data down here at the very bottom that basically is saying you've got some invalid syntax in this particular file on line one. Okay? And it's even right here showing us that line. And so if you look in the log, it's doing kind of a similar thing. Now, you might have to look it up or down. The key to any of these things is to know what you're looking for, right? You're looking for the thing that it's complaining about your program. Um, the rest of it, it's, it's talking about itself. So we find, oh, we're, well, this is line one, and our mistake is a uh, missing quote. So we fix it, save it, and then we hit refresh and that immediately fixes it. So that is, on, let me check to make sure we got everything. So the last thing to do of course is to shut the server down. And again shutting the server down is simply you press X in this little box and that ends everything. Okay? Thanks.